Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name is Rain Day, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to play Ho Yi. This is not a joke. This is not a montage video clip compilation. This is actually just me telling you how to play Ho Yi the most effectively uh, that you can, and hopefully getting you very equipped to go ahead and take this god out onto the battlefield and do well. That's what it's all about, making sure that you guys have a better experience when you go ahead and play. Uh, usually I have my face cam in all up in this thing, but I'm actually not feeling too great guys And uh, I want to just do myself, you know the honor I want to make the video But I also was like, you know what? I'm really not up for it to do the camera right now And I just you know sometimes you gotta just you know, be true to yourself And uh, as much as I want to get this video out as you see I'm here trying to get my ricochet going on We'll talk about what all of his abilities do and we'll also talk about a huge point uh, For me, which is about how to come back from losing games how to come back from bad situations how to play What do you do when you're behind? We're gonna cover this a lot and we're gonna also of course talk about f7 Why it's so important to continue to go for it as the Scotty is almost dead I do my dive bomb into the tower, but I decided to back up and I don't chase the kill and now the sub call comes in I get two fireballs from the tower and I go down now what's wrong with that what just happened let me talk to you about it and, and listen if you want to rewatch right now go ahead and do it I'll, I'll mention what happens because it's very important I gave up a first blood when I really could have had it now what I did was I I I hit her with my ricochet after throwing my mark of the golden crow onto her which will stun we'll talk about how those abilities work in conjunction together obviously you could see that if you hit a ricochet with the mark of the golden crow onto a target it will stun them I did that and I jumped in with a dive bomb to try and finish her off but I did not commit at the last second I was one basic attack away instead of going in for the first blood I went and tried to back away saying oh man this is a little risky I had no confidence I had no decision making going on internally that said do it you're doing it no matter or what you're not getting out of this and that was my issue I had hesitation the big problem the big word you cannot hesitate in those scenarios if you're gonna go for it if you're gonna make that aggressive play you have to go 100% and that is not what I did as I got rooted here by the Scylla and I'm not gonna avoid the damage I'm just gonna take it and see if I can go ahead and pressure her out of lane hit the minions as well as taking a little bit of damage <clears throat> onto the Scylla as I'm going ahead in this left lane no golden bow I, I still have it available uh, they haven't changed it yet they haven't put the patch out where Obviously, Golden Bow will be gone, uh, but I just did not want to use it in this build uh, because I know it's not going to be in the game. I don't want to give you guys advice on something that's not really going to be a part of your build. I see the Raw coming over. He's level 4. He doesn't have a snipe. He might get stunned, though. He tries to hit me. I hit him with the Ricochet as well. Is he going to go down? Can we get the kill? Scylla's trying to catch me, but she's level 5. I have to turn around and see that she's coming for me. I'm a monster. Could be enough, and it does. Monkey Tickles dives the tower. Gets taken out. It seems like, oh, please. Please go down. There you go. Anime Killer does go down. Uh, takes down Monkey Tickles. Um, and we do trade a couple of our characters, though. Uh, cannot finish the raw off, it looks like. Very unfortunate. He was very low health. And uh, I go back to base. So let's start talking about um, a little bit more about Hu Yi. As you can see, again, the hesitation is a big factor. We are now behind him. Two kills down. And uh, this doesn't look like it's getting any better. And to be honest, it's not going to get better for a little bit. And I, I need you guys to watch this video because it's so important to see not only when things go well, but to see when things don't go well and how to handle that. The Ao Guang trying to pressure me now, and I've lost a lot of my lane pressure. I don't have the same clear as I'm used to having on Hunters as Golden Bow. You're going to find that transition out if you're used to playing Hunters. It's not going to be the same. And you're going to have to adjust your play style. You're going to start using your abilities to clear more. Hu Yi's number one, Ricochet being his main clear what that will do is allow he as the stun comes out though the poseidon uh, kraken comes out and moody cheats gets a kill on a kilimanjaro and i jump over the side just to be a little safe and make sure that the sun wukong cannot uh go ahead and follow me up there dive bomb does go over walls and we'll talk about that um so it's very important to understand all these dynamics in the game and and how to become a better player it's really really all about it and if you want to know how to be a better hunter in my opinion i've got the top five ways to be a better hunter out at this moment on the channel so definitely check that out if you're interested trying to go ahead and get a stun onto the Sun Wukong jukes me to the right jumps up and down he's happy about that even though I'm not he is I see over here the Alquan getting up I'm about to dive bomb and I decide you know what let me just put that energy and that damage onto the minions and no Naja with that ultimate is going to take away the limited health he, he had he took Alquan up into the sky with and pretty much I know I'm going to be able to get uh you know a good uh clear rather than waste that on you know somebody who's already going to die trying to maximize my ability here I get hit with the raw solar flare actually not the solar flare but the sunbeam there touching down he's coming after me the Scylla rush crush and oh my god the raw snipe tried to get me wasn't enough though so I'm going to be able to head back to base which is great so uh let's talk about passes let's talk about abilities we'll get into this this game is a 
like one of the best Huyi games I've played in a long time. Um, it's just so much fun, and we'll be talking about all of the dynamics of it, but let's talk about his passive. His passive is called Sun Touched, and what happens is it's very strong. It's very strong against other hunters. Huyi is very well known to be one of the best boxing hunters in Smite because he's got Mark of the Golden Crow, which at rank 5 is going to give him some extra penetration against targets. It's going to give him 25% penetration, but it's also going to reveal stealth targets. It's also going to make sure that he does 5% more damage for every 10% of missing health they have. So the lower they go, 5% more damage added on top of that. He's also at rank 5, again, like I said, going to be doing 25% penetration standard. So it's really, really amazing when he's able to box somebody. He's just going to be hurting them so, so much with that Mark of the Golden Crow on there. Of course, getting blinded by the raw, not blinded by the light, the kind of light I want. The Scylla goes into the damage, and I go away from Amal Mazer. However, I get rooted by the Scylla. Holy moly, damage coming out. Crush, basic attack, root. It's all coming out onto me, and that was a misplay as well. What happened there? I'm 0-3. Well, the problem was I tried to kill the raw, but the thing is the raw was running away. He was no longer a threat to me. That was a greedy chase of a kill. Let's see if Moody Cheese can get out of there. Oh, he survived long enough, uh, but the Alkong's going to take him out. Now, the reason that's an issue is because you know, obviously, the Ra was running away, but he's no longer a threat. I could have chased the kill if I would have got it. Great. But he's not a threat to me. The Scylla, however, is a threat. And because I focused only on the Ra, she was able to root me, crush me with pretty much just as low health and didn't have to fight me at all. And so uh, just having a little bit of awareness of who's actually a threat to killing you uh, can help you to survive. And oftentimes, surviving is the key to damage. Now, I jump over with my dive bomb to close the distance. I see the Sun Wukong stun comes out. So I save my stun and stun her just in time. Fast even, however, getting the kill on the Lifted Knight and taking her down. Scott going back to base man oh man not a good day for that scotty so far she did escape the first blood but she's not escaping that aggression and onslaught there as you can see who you turning the tide of a fight so quickly just getting in there with a dive bomb a mark of the golden crow and then all of a sudden with the ricochet combo stunning that so pretty much as you as you can see mark of the golden crow his number two ability is this this mark you throw onto somebody and interacts with his other abilities uh very very well um like we mentioned just before touching onto that sun touched is his is his basically passive which allows him to not be critically hit for three seconds after he's already been critically hit and that is a key key feature again we're talking about boxing we're talking about trying to hit the ricochet there it didn't work out though uh talking about boxing talking about man 1v1 who's going to come out on top well you add the extra penetration he's going to have you add the extra damage increase he's going to have you have the stun that he's going to be able to apply and then you also add the fact that he's not going to be able to get critically hit so if the hunter's building crit it's not really going to matter as i hear go ahead try using my ultimate there trying to clear and get get the red buff i jump out of the way dive bomb hopefully saving my life but spicy chipotle takes me down the sun wukong is just wreaking havoc and i am O and four and right now you guys may be thinking why the hell did this guy call this a how to play who you trust me guys trust me do i ever do you wrong do i ever do you dirty know that you got to just keep watching we're going to keep learning about the abilities and then i'll talk about again how to come back from these bad situations because i am in a bad spot right now i am level eight the other members on their team are nine ten nine eleven and nine I am below everybody. My damage is going to be uh, pitiful against the Sun Wukong. Uh, I now need to stay involved in this game, however. I cannot hide. I need to farm. I need to make sure I am involved safely in these next engagements. And that's why you see me heading over to the blue buff to take some extra XP that I hope is not going to be contested. Hu Yi being very good at actually taking XP camps by himself because he's got this ricochet. You'll see how it works here. You aim it off the wall. Bam. And you get the double bonus damage there. And you can get triple bonus damage on certain areas. I'll show you that later on in this game uh so obviously very good at boxing who is a master at that so uh very very good at one-on-ones don't be afraid of taking one-on-ones especially now that they up the damage on dive bomb which didn't used to do a lot of damage uh now it damages it knocks up i mean when someone is marked they are pretty much screwed if they're one v wanting as a hunter against who so we're seeing gonna throw that mark through the wall try and get the damage we do stun on the al kuang actually jump up and oh my god the sun wukong actually gets me going into his ultimate right away um he's able to take me down uh and stun me actually out of my dive bomb which I didn't realize. I thought my dive bomb would have been able to do that uh, and get out of it. But apparently his uh, animation, uh, you know, went ahead of mine. Um, it was able to catch me and bring me back down to the ground. Um, and with so how fast Hu Yi's jump is, it's, it's very weird. I was not expecting that, but it did happen. Uh, but I'm able to safely engage and get out. The biggest key of that fight is that I didn't die. And as an 0-4 character, you've got two assists right now. We're down by 4,000 gold and seven kills in nine minutes. Just, just nine minutes, just under 10 minutes. It's important that now I am still alive. I have the blue buff. I have some things going my way. I'm getting some farm. I'm engaging these fights. I'm making sure that no one is dying on our team right now because I'm applying 
taking damage, I'm applying stuns, I'm being a hard target to kill down and wasting their energy chasing, it's a really good uh, way to basically go ahead and play this scenario. Now, Kilimanjaro kills our Vulcan over on the right-hand side. Give us a little bit of time to talk about Ricochet. As you can see, guys, Ricochet, one of the uh, crowning moments of uh, uh, Huyi, pretty much the ability everyone knows about it. I see the Kraken come out, and his health is so low, I don't even need to use my Ricochet. I don't want to use it. I could have done it to try and secure, but I need that ability up in case something happens over here. I'm ready for the engagement. I don't waste that ability. I know, hey, there's an opportunity here for me to potentially use that. The Alquang gets a little bit of damage onto me uh, with his number three ability, and I actually back away knowing that, you know what, I've got my dive bomb. I can jump over this wall if they try to catch me. The Alquang is here. He's trying to get me. He throws his number two actually out on me. The dragons miss, and now he could be going down. He ultimates onto our Sun Wukong fast even, but I actually take him out with my sons, and I get the first kill, and that is exactly what I needed. Again, playing safe, not being able to get killed. I was backing off. I was respecting that Alquang, but I got the kill because he made the mistake trying to chase me down, and that is what you need to do, guys. Let them make these mistakes, and now what am I also doing? I'm buying not only Transcendence and, and boots which kind of was a hard start for me because I didn't have a lot of movement speed um, and I finished my boots and then finished transcendence but now I'm getting Aussie and Ikkabul these are two items that are very good they'll give me life life steal they'll give me penetration they'll help me to increase my power artificially through building stacks but then they'll also allow me to just get items online quickly I'm not getting a lot of gold because I haven't gotten a lot of kills I've been dying a lot I've missed some farm so getting these cheap items for a hunter are very good you want to make sure your power curve allows you to still stay relevant and these two items right here are gonna allow me to get my items on a lot faster than if I went and tried to build a chin size or an executioner right away I try and hit the double ricochet there as we were talking about it there it's gonna do double it's gonna do 50% more damage after the second bounce but it's also gonna do a hundred percent more damage if you can hit someone on the third bounce it has the ability like I like obviously I just mentioned to hit three bounces there i use my ricochet right there for the specific reason of clearing fast uh obviously no golden bow so the clear is a little bit worse on to the hunters and now you're gonna have to use those abilities to just clear and be able to rotate you know i knew something was happening i needed to rotate the silla trying to get away misses with the ricochet though but i've got my sunbreaker can i get the kill and i do sunbreaker taking down the silla shutting her down monkey tickles going back to base and i'm able to actually pick up my second kill on the raws inside here i jump in with a dive bomb use my mark of the golden crow hit the stun prometheus picks up the kill and it looks like we're getting back into this game, only down by about 3,000, 2,000 gold. And uh, right away, just like that, staying alive, staying in the right spots, clearing so I can rotate. And I don't have minions pushing our tower or don't have any safe retreat area. And now they're over-aggressing. And look at this, coming in onto the Scotty. I hit her with a double bounce, it looks like, a double ricochet. I jump in on the dive bomb, one basic attack, and that's GG, all she wrote. And now it's just the Sun Wukong. And this game has shifted so dramatically. You guys can see it. You can feel it. Obviously, now I'm getting my rhythm. I'm three and four, and they're not respecting me because, of course, that early uh, last of judgment from me allowing um, myself to get first blooded uh, and now I'm just playing it patiently and this is one of the things you need to do as if you're down do not play complicated I jump up I know the Alquan's going for the execute I jump down on him try to get the stun water illusion takes me down to about 41 health and I don't get the kill and neither does he but now Vulcan and, and uh, Poseidon are on the run chasing after him a Vulcan Earthshaker coming down and Kilimanjaro oh my god I'm thinking I'm backing the safety but it looks like he had some vision on me and snipes me through the wall. If he's going to die, I would be happy about that. Is he going to get taken down? Looks like, oh man, a couple of misses, a nice age is there. And Anime Killer gets the kill, giving me a little bit of revenge. So I pick up my Ikeval. And let's move into the abilities while we have a little bit of a moment to talk, guys. Um, so we talk about Ricochet. Now that does 230 damage plus 60% of your physical power, right? Obviously, it can bounce up to two times and it stuns if they have a mark of the Golden Crow on them. That's his number two. But if it bounces for the second time, for one time, after the second bounce, after the second bounce, right, it will do 345 damage plus 90% of your physical power. But after the third bounce, it will do 460 damage plus 120% of your physical power. That's right. That's 100%. That's all your physical power plus another 20% of it. And on top of 460 damage, uh, the triple bounces for Hu Yi are some of the most impressive plays you can make in Smite. And that's why he's a very cool character to actually go ahead and, and master and learn and get really good at. And uh, he used to be my go-to hunter, and I stopped playing him for so long. But a lot of you guys have been requesting him, and I've really wanted to show him off to you. Now, I see something crazy is happening. I want to go for the kill. I'm feeling very confident, but I smell something is up. And I see the Al Kwong and the Sun Wukong coming onto me. They could have bursted me down really easy, but I'm setting up the Ricochet. Let's see if it works. Oh, my God, the double Ricochet. 448 damage right onto the lifted knight Scotty and it takes her down now I've got the sunbreaker coming along and Ra looks like he's in a big big trouble here I'm going for one more basic attack and I get it
hit. And that's another kill. The Scylla with the Ama Monster misses. Jason, after the Scylla, I get the stun. There's so much damage going on. A nice Sanctuary, but it's not enough. I go in with a Tower Dive, and I get the kill. Monkey Tickle's going down as well. That's a double kill for me. And now I'm prioritizing taking down this objective, guys. We are 50,000, uh, and we are tied in gold. We are tied in kills. And now it looks like the Al Kuang, he could be in trouble here. Is he trying to chase me? I'm saving my Ricochet until I know where he's going to go. I hit the Ricochet now, and now me and Prometheus go ahead and get the damage, but the double damage from the Ricochet is so hard. Oh, my goodness gracious. And this is how you turn a game. Six and five now. I don't know if it's four in a row. I obviously, I think I died at three, five. But now look at this. We're up 2,000 gold, and we're about to grab this gold fury. This stuff after the stuff. As my man F dot says, and now look at this. We are now at 55, 7, 55,700 gold, and they're at 51,000. We are up by four, 3,000 gold in the matter of two minutes. We went from down 2,000 gold to up 3,000, 4,000. What a transition, and this is how you do it, guys. This is exactly how you play patiently. And don't let your your early mistakes get the best of you. Just believe in yourself that you can make a difference in a game and play smart. Start adjusting your play style, knowing what's going wrong. It may take four kills, may take five, may take six, but then you get your rhythm and you let it go because you know what? This is this is really what's worthwhile. These are the games you love to play because you you figured it out. You kind of solved the puzzle. You know what I mean? You've got the Rubik's cube, you've unlocked it, and that's what it's all about. So the ricochet, obviously, you're seeing the damage it can put out there. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Mark of the Golden Crow, we talked Golden Crow. We've talked about that, so you guys know what that does. It's it's a debuff, give you that twenty five percent extra penetration. Helps you to see stealth gods like Al Kuang, so I can throw that on him and actually see where he's going, uh, which is fantastic. Um, and then I also have Dive Bomb. Now, Dive Bomb, how does that interact? It's pretty much an instant jump up. Allows you to escape a lot of abilities, especially like Alma Monster from Scylla. You're seeing that happen a lot. And, of course, the Execute from Al Kuang, which you can kind of see coming a while, a long time away. And now I know the Scotty's here. I don't hit the uh, minions because then I would be alerted on the minimap, I believe. And I'm going after the Scotty, trying to get the kill into her. Mark of the Golden Crow, looking to get the stun. Mark of the Golden Crow, oh, she juiced to the right, so I don't get the stun and she's about to run away thinking I missed this kill but I'm just gonna pressure a little bit she jumps back to me 100 300 400 four, three shots of 350 and over and that's just a dead Scotty oh my god what just happened I have no idea I don't even know if the sky I just here's the triple bounce guys look at this triple bounce and then just one basic clears an entire buff camp guys that's what the triple bounce will do for you find those spots in joust find those spots in clash and you'll be able to use them to really effectively jungle uh, as a Hu Yi and pick up these really critical buffs. Uh, now I've got 236 health. It's just it's just big time now. I'm going to use it again to clear this really quickly with Prime and uh, head back to base, finish up Titan's Bane. Now, Dive Bomb, like I said, allows you to get out of a lot of things like the Scylla ult very quickly. You can react to it uh, very well because it's very quick. Uh, but then you can also jump onto your targets. Now, a lot of times you'll see an aggressive Hu Yi mark somebody up, get the stun, right? Maybe hit a basic attack because it'll give you a couple of seconds to actually basic attack them while they're stunned. And then they start to run away, jump up, dive bomb on them. Or vice versa, throw the mark, jump up, dive bomb, hit them a couple times, stun them, hit them a couple times, and it should be GG. And you can at least, of course, follow up with your ultimate if you need it. Uh, the dive bomb, when they are marked, will actually knock them up and so that is a big component to understand you're gonna buy yourself an extra basic attack because they're marked and now the damage is real some Wukong gets stunned out forced up into his ultimate he's gonna be sitting in that cloud as we go ahead and beat these minions down. I'm waiting for my abilities to come on cooldown. The Sun Wukong uh, dummy is almost dead. I'm going on to the raw. I hit him with one, two, three basic attacks. Okay, the third and the fourth miss. Scotty's, however, trying to stay by, and I know I've got damage on her, so I take down the Scotty. Throw the Mark of the Golden Crow onto the raw. Head back to the fight, and now the Scylla's getting caught out with the Sunbreaker. The damage is too real. Scylla can't survive, and now the Poseidon with the Moody Cheats takes down the Al Kuang. It's almost a deicide. Sun Wukong uses his stun, and unfortunately, he's now trapped. He's got nowhere to run, no movement ability. He does get the kill on the prime. Unfortunately, I'm going over there with a dive bomb, cutting off his escape, and Moody Cheats secures the deal. Now, the Raw realizes things are running out. It's running out of time for him. I throw the uh, number two on him, the Mark of the Golden Crow. I miss my number one ricochet, but I finish off with the damage from my basic attacks. 533 securing the kill onto the Raw. I'm level 18. He's level 14. So I'm like, see you later, kid. I'll see you next time on the playground. This is this is my my time right now. It's 10, 5, and 7, Hu Yi. Obviously, you saw just Sunbreaker being so good. Uh, that ultimate at basically going ahead and clearing up space, allowing myself to uh, secure the kill onto the Scylla, and obviously turning around, marking someone, turning around, and then uh, when everyone is fighting, they don't expect it. That Sunbreaker dropping down, doing so much damage, and creating this area where they all have to split up. They have to separate from each other. There's no, there's no clear tactical uh, value that they can bring if they 
if they don't want to run through my sons and they pretty much just have to split up and become isolated and that's how we're able to pick off those targets so efficiently in the late game. It does 120 damage plus 25% of your physical power per hit, uh, and I believe it hits nine times. And uh, if you have them marked while they are in Sunbreaker, which is his ultimate, they will get slowed by 20% for 0.25 seconds on every hit. So uh, I believe it is possible to stack. I'm not exactly sure. Um... Because I'm not exactly sure how fast it's. I'm sure it will stack a little bit. But the slow allows them to basically, once they get caught in there, just stay in there. And, uh, of course, if you hit him, hit them with every little ability of that Sunbreaker, every single sun, it will do 1,080 damage plus 225% of your physical power, which is just nutso. So imagine throwing your Mark of the Golden Crow, hitting, uh, doing a knock-up stun, and then all of a sudden throwing your Sunbreaker on top of yourself and your enemy. That's a ton of damage. They're going to get slowed while inside that Sunbreaker. Uh, I don't recommend using your kit like that unless it's a very vital kill uh, because you just won't have that for the rest of the team fight or engagement but to kill a single target that's extremely extremely strong uh so we've talked about the combos we've talked about it the only thing i didn't mention is this late game build here obviously the earlier items uh Aussie and ikaval after building transcendence which is a great item uh to start and get those stacks up for an ability based god uh like hu yi Aussie and ikaval are great items to give you some pin and give you some cheap power some cheap stats. Gen size, a great item, very expensive, and something I like to build fifth. And sixth, of course, Titan's Bane, a very good item. A little bit better than Executioner for Hu Yi in many ways. If you're going for just straight basic attacks, Executioner will allow you to hit more, and when you hit more, you'll do more damage. But also the fact that Titan's Bane allows all of your attacks, including your abilities as a hunter, to do 33% more penetration, you are going to be combining a whole lot of penetration from his inherent kit. Uh, of course, with Asi and Ikaval as well, you are going to be penetrating a lot of armor. You're going to be basically hurting people like you saw the scotty just didn't realize how much damage i could do to her thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this how to play who ye and of course the f7 mentality making sure you always learn from your mistakes never give up because you never know what may happen and what you can learn and the results of course from this game are just testament enough to how valuable and how fun it can be to go through learn make the adjustment on the fly and then reap the rewards immediately after my name is rain day guys thanks for liking sharing commenting and subscribing to the channel for more stuff like this here at rain day gaming and as always remember to never give up never stop gaming and i'll see you all next time